when I worked uh, for the Christian Science Monitor, which is a conservative uh, publication, I was the copy kid, and I was just dressing like a kid, you know. And uh, we had a very prim and proper English editor. And so the next step up from copy kid would be reporter trainee. And so my, the editor that I worked closest with, the New England News Editor, uh, he, he put me in for it and I was passed over. Uh, for somebody who had experience in the Peace Corps, so I could understand that. Uh, the second time I was passed over for someone else and I went to my editor and I said, can you tell me why I'm being passed over? And he said, well, the editor said, maybe if she wants the job so much, she ought to wear a bra. Now, the sad part of this is that I was wearing a bra. <laughs> and of course, in today's world, this would be, you know, cause for litigation. Um, but in 1971, I just realized I'm going nowhere here. You know, obviously, I'm not being taken seriously. Now, I take blame for some of that. And I tell some of the young reporters uh, and the interns, dress more professionally. Act like a grown-up. There was pay disparity, I think more in Arkansas. I think there was a feeling that a man with uh, two children, uh, and I'm single, and I was single then, um, deserves a little bit higher pay than I got. And uh, nobody ever said actual numbers, but you just had the feeling that, uh, uh, that the pay schedule wasn't the same. Uh, but I had enough to live on, so I didn't care. The pay was not that important to me. The uh, work was what was important. So I probably, uh, you know, I didn't have any lawyer friends, and I didn't, I didn't I, it was not my personality anyway.